Søren Kierkegaard's 1843 Christian philosophical book, Fear and Trembling, was published under the pseudonym Johannes de Silentio. The title is a reference to a Bible text that requires salvation to be worked out with fear and trembling. The majority of fear and trembling concentrates on the ancient story of Abraham, who was ordered by God to sacrifice his son Isaac. Kierkegaard argues that Abraham's deeds, despite his dread and trembling, cannot be regarded as anything other than an act of trust. Most academics believe fear and trembling is largely autobiographical, reflecting Kierkegaard's choice to leave his sweetheart, Regine Olson, and devote himself to theology. The tract is also regarded as a founding book of existentialism, since it deals with the struggle to find meaning in life and the role religion plays in that search. The text is still extensively read among theologians and philosophers today, and it has been mentioned by modern thinkers such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus. Fear and trembling is separated into two sections. In the first, Kierkegaard investigates Abraham's story. In the second, he develops a framework for studying Abraham's faith and asks questions about it. The book opens with a preface in which Kierkegaard, as Johannes de Silentio, presents the reader with the current condition of philosophy and his disagreement with Hegel's system. He introduces the reader to four versions of Abraham's narrative in the short prelude that follows. The first portion concludes with the panegyric upon Abraham, which contends that there is no reasonable way to describe Abraham, what he did, and why. The second half is entitled Problemata. In the first section, Preliminary Expectation, Kierkegaard contrasts between the tragic hero and the knight of faith. The tragic hero gives up everything to accept what has been lost. The tragic hero embodies and represents the universal human experience. The knight of faith, on the other hand, goes beyond complete surrender to faith. He regains all he lost through the foolishness of faith. While humanity has always revered the tragic hero, the knight of faith remains a mystery. Finally, the paper tackles three issues that emerge from the framework. The first issue is if there is such a thing as a teleological suspension of ethics. Abraham's attempted murder of his son cannot be interpreted in terms of universal ethics. As a result, Abraham must have suspended universal ethics to fulfill his greater obligation to God. In the second challenge, Kierkegaard questions the ultimate obligation to God. He compares his ideas with those of Hegel and Descartes stating that Abraham ignored all of his ethical commitments to immediately accomplish God's command. Despite being tempted by his obligation to human ethics, he eventually resisted temptation. The last dilemma deals with Abraham's choice to conceal his preparations to sacrifice Isaac from the people around him. Sharing knowledge serves the greater good, whilst withholding information serves the individual. As a result, Abraham functioned as a solitary person, independent of the requirements of the universal. This implies that his activities cannot be explained since who would comprehend them? Faith involves passion, which cannot be taught or learned. To comprehend religion, we must be passionate. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.